Alex Watson. This is per request of someone who has subscribed to my channel, so I hope you enjoy this. We have no capo, we're in standard tuning. We have a G chord, you can play it as a bar or open. We have a C chord with a root in the G. And we have this D chord with the root in the A. So those are our chords here. Let's start out with the C with the root in the G. So your index is going to be on the first fret of the B string, middles on the second fret of the D, ring fingers all the way up top on the third fret of the low E, and your ring finger, or your pinky, gets tucked under your ring finger on the third fret of the A. And you play all six strings there. That's your C slash G. If you slide this exact shape up to the third fret here with your index, that is your D chord with your root in your A, so D slash A. And then you can play your G as a bar chord like this, barring your third fret and doing your E shape over here. Or we can play just with a standard open G. So you'd have your index and your um, index is going to be on the second fret of the A, middles on the third fret of the low E ring fingers on the third fret of the B, and your pinkies on the third fret of the high E. And you play all six strings there. Okay, so those are the basic chords we need to know. Um, I'll also show you the chorus, which has a B minor 7, an E minor 7, and a variation of a C, but we'll talk about those when we get to the chorus here. So for now, we're going to talk about the verse, and the verse, we're going to start out on our G chord, which sounds like this. We're going to strum down, down, up, down, up. Then we're going to go to our C slash D variation, or sorry, our D slash A variation. Same strumming, so down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Then back to our C root G. So G. So that strumming is just... Okay, so that's how you play the verse. And there's a couple verses in that song. Um, so for the chorus, we need this B minor 7, so you're going to have your index on the 2nd fret of the A, that's the 2nd string down there. Middle finger is going to be on the 2nd fret of the G, that's your 3rd string up. And then your ring fingers all the way up on the 3rd fret of the high E. You want to play those 5 strings, you don't want to play that low E. For your E minor 7, go ahead and put those 2 fingers there, just like we had for our G chord. But now we're going to have our E minor shape over here, so your index goes on the 2nd fret of the D, and your middle goes on the 2nd fret of the A, and you can play all 6 strings. That's your E minor 7, and then to get to your C variation here, all you do is you slide that middle finger over to the 3rd fret. And that's it. So, um, the chorus sounds like this. Seven to our E minor to our C variation. The strumming's going down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up to your B minor seven. Down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up to your E minor seven.
let's go through the chorus nice and slow one time for you here. So that is going to be it for this tutorial. I went through a lot in a short amount of time. So if you have questions, please feel free to comment. If you'd like to see more tutorials, I'd really appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.